A sport includes all forms of competitive physical activity or games which, through casual or organized participation, aim to use, maintain, or improve physical ability and skills while providing enjoyment to participants and, in some cases, entertainment for spectators. It is generally recognized as a system of activities which are based on physical athleticism or physical dexterity, with the largest major competitions such as the Olympic Games admitting only sports meeting this definition. However, a number of competitive but non-physical activities claim recognition as mind sports. The International Olympic Committee, through the Association of IOC Recognized International Sports Federations, recognizes both chess and bridge as bona fide sports. In the upcoming Southeast Asian Games, which is a biennial multi-sport event involving Southeast Asian countries that is under the supervision of the International Olympic Committee and the Olympic Council of Asia, a new kind of sport will be making its debut as a sanctioned medal event. Welcome in eSports! Hi guys, I'm Zach and this is Gigi Fistbump. Today we'll be talking about the inclusion of esports in the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. But before we move on, click on subscribe and hit on that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos. The inclusion of esports in the Southeast Asian Games was lobbied by Min Liang Tan, CEO of Singapore-based gaming firm Razer. In 2018, a Razer delegation led by Tan met with the Philippine Sea Games Organizing Committee and the Philippine Olympic Committee on multiple occasions to work towards this goal. This included Tan meeting with the Philippine Sea Games Organizing Committee Chair Alan Peter Cayetano in Metro Manila. Esports was already among the Category 3 disciplines included in the final list of proposed events to be hosted in the Games. Previously, the discipline featured as a demonstration sport in the 2018 Asian Games in Jakarta, Indonesia. So what is Category 3? How are sports categorized? The SEA Games have three categories. Category 1 are compulsory sports, which include athletics and aquatics. Category 2 are Olympic and Asian Games sports, while Category 3 includes regional and new sports. Aside from eSports, other sports in this category includes underwater hockey, arnis, chess, and wakeboarding to name a few. On November 27, 2018, Razer and the Philippine Sea Games Organizing Committee announced that eSports will be a medal event at the Sea Games 2019, with Razer as the official eSports partner. The event will be the first of its kind for an international sporting event of this scale. Six medals are to be contested for eSports. As for choosing which games are to be included, it was deemed that the selected titles will have to conform to the values of the International Olympic Committee and should not promote the culture of violence and gambling. Also, other factors such as the popularity and competitiveness of the titles, the strategy and teamwork required in playing the concert titles, as well as the physical and mental intensity required in contesting the titles in marathon matches were also considered in the selection process. So there will be three classifications for esports. PC, Mobile, and Console. Mobile Legends Bang Bang was the first title to be confirmed in November 2018. Four titles, Arena of Valor, Tekken 7, Starcraft 2, and Dota 2 were later announced in mid-December 2018. The last title to be confirmed was Hearthstone, which happened in June 2019. NBA 2K, a simulation game of the National Basketball Association, was initially included. However, competition managers of the event were not able to get the needed license to include the said game. This is when Hearthstone replaced the popular sports franchise. So let's take a look at the games included at the SEA Games. Mobile Legends Bang Bang is a mobile game developed and published by Shanghai Moonton Technology in July 2016. It is classified as a multiplayer online battle arena or MOBA. Two opposing teams with five players each fight to reach and destroy the enemy's base while defending their own base for a control of a path, the three lanes known as top, middle, and bottom, which connect the bases. Now we do have a lot of MOBAs included. 
Arena of Valor, developed and published by Tencent Games in August 2017, is another mobile MOBA involving 5 vs 5, wherein players aim to destroy turrets on the map in order to destroy the core. Defense of the Ancients 2 or Dota 2 is a PC MOBA game developed and published by Valve Corporation in July 2013. It is also played in matches between two teams of five players, with each team occupying and defending their own separate base on the map. A team wins by being the first to destroy the other team's ancient, a large structure located within their base. StarCraft II is a science fiction, real-time strategy video game for the PC, developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. First released in July 2010 as StarCraft II Wings of Liberty, it has two expansion packs. Heart of the Swarm, and Legacy of the Void, and one DLC, Nova Covert Ops. The central objective in StarCraft is to defeat opponents by overpowering them, usually by destroying all of their buildings. Tekken 7 is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game developed and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. It will be under the console category as it was released for the PS4 and Xbox One, although it was also released for the arcade and PC. Your objective is to deplete the health bar of your opponent. Hearthstone is a free-to-play online digital collectible card game developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment for mobile. The game builds upon the existing lore of the Warcraft series by using the same elements, characters, and relics. This turn-based collectible card game pits two opponents against each other. Each player uses a deck of cards from their collection with the end goal being to reduce the opponent's health to zero. Now there are glaring exclusions such as shooter games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Call of Duty, Overwatch, and PUBG. Despite the popularity of these games, especially Battle Royales, the International Olympic Committee was insistent that for esports to be sanctioned, games which promote or explicitly display violence or gambling would not be allowed. It's easy to see why Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Call of Duty, Overwatch, and PUBG have been left out due to their semi-realistic depiction of gun violence. League of Legends, one of the world's most popular esports titles, was also a notable absentee. Given that the League of Legends belongs to the same genre as Dota 2 and the number of medal events are limited to 6, organizers chose Dota 2 given that it is more successful in Southeast Asia. Tekken 7's inclusion is a bit interesting. While some might question the game's inclusion due to its portrayal of physical violence, it's not a far cry from sports that have been Olympic mainstays such as boxing or taekwondo. With all that said, one of the biggest takeaways from the selection of esports in the SEA Games is that a lot of compromises had to be made for it to get in. In the process, many of the games some expected to be there had to be left out for esports as a whole to be accepted. Esports at the 2019 Southeast Asian Games will happen in the Philippines at the Phil Oil Flying V Center in San Juan, Metro Manila from December 1 to 6, 2019. Are you excited to witness this event? Just comment down below to give your thoughts. And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video interesting or entertaining, please like and subscribe to my channel then hit on that notification bell for more content. Again, I'm Zach and this is Gigi. Fist bump.